How to make tater tot hot dish. Tater tot hot dish. Tater tot hot dish has been a long time family tradition in our family. My mom made it when I was growing up, and now I make it for my family. It is an economical meal to make and you can vary the recipe based on your family's likes and dislikes. For me it is true comfort food on a cool fall night or a cold winter evening. It also serves well as a leftover meal. This recipe feeds a family of four along with side dishes. If you have big eaters, I would suggest doubling the recipe and baking it in a 8.5 x 11 pan. Step 1 You need the following items to make tater tot hot dish 9 x 9 square or oblong pan for a single recipe 8.5 x 11 pan for a double recipe large frying pan garlic press, optional, 1 pound lean ground beef 1 small, medium onion 1 clove garlic 1 can cream of mushroom or cream of chicken soup frozen corn or green beans milk or water 1 third cup minute rice 1 half package frozen tater tot step 2 preheat your oven to 400 degrees in a large frying pan on medium heat add hamburger and begin to brown. Add one small or medium onion chopped, add garlic using a garlic press, or mince by hand, to hamburger mixture. Brown all together, stirring frequently, until the hamburger is browned and completely done. There should not be any pink remaining in the hamburger. Drain the hamburger mixture if there is a lot of grease, if there is a very small amount of grease, you can leave it in as it adds to the flavor of the meal. Turn the heat to low. Measure out one third cup of minute rice and add to hamburger mixture in frying pan. Add one can of cream of mushroom or cream of chicken soup to mixture in frying pan. Add one half, three fourths of a soup can of water or milk to the mixture in the frying pan. Add one fourth package frozen corn or green beans, both if you'd like, to frying pan. Stir all together until well blended. Turn off the heat. Step 3 Add the mixture from the frying pan to a 9x9 square baking pan. Spread the mixture around the pan until even. Add tater tots to the top of the mixture. I put mine fairly close together, so we get a lot of tater tots. Put it in the oven and bake for 30 to 40 minutes, or until it's bubbly and the tater tots have browned. Remove from the oven and serve. Side dishes may include a loaf of refrigerator bread or biscuits, leafy salad, and fruit mix. Enjoy! I hope you enjoy this recipe. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask.